What's up, everybody? Fab's here. And uh, Matthew there. And Kylo there. <laughs> and we're giving you our week 15 waiver wire pickups. Uh, a little allergic reaction in the eyeballs. It was over at my buddy's house. He has a cat. I am allergic. Uh, let's talk. First off, I get it, Baker Mayfield, not a great game today. Still, if he's out there, I like him, especially if you can get to week 16. He's got the Bengals. I'm guessing Lamar Jackson's owned across the board. So look and see if he's there, but he's probably gone. Uh, Josh Allen, I mean, the dude rushed for 100 yards again. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. Everyone thought Lamar Jackson was the running quarterback out of the 2018 rookie class. It's been Josh Allen, and heck, three games in a row, man. I mean, he's fantasy relevant, so needs to be owned across the board. Uh, running backs, Kenneth Dixon, nine touches in the game uh, for the Ravens, worth a speculative add. Uh, Elijah McGuire with Isaiah Crowell injured. He had a good game, uh, 20 touches for the Jets, so he's worth picking up off the waiver wire. Chris Ivory, also worth an add with LaShawn McCoy's injury. We should get more news on that uh, at some point during the course of the week. And Damian Williams, also worth a speculative add, especially if you have Spencer Ware as a potential handcuff. Uh, Williams with 12 touches today. Let's move on to the wide receivers. It's funny because everyone was picking up Corlin Sutton. I mentioned Deshaun Hamilton as a as a deep sleeper, and he had a great game. Nine targets uh, for the Broncos, worth an add. And uh, Tim Patrick, too. It's funny. Hamilton, Patrick, both more fantasy points than Corlin Sutton. That's fantasy football for you, my friends. Um, Robert Foster, only in deeper leagues. He's been pretty inconsistent, but I had a big game today. Curtis Samuel is probably gone. I've been talking about him for a couple of weeks, but he had another eight targets today. Uh, Kenny Stills, he could be out there. A lot of people probably got sick of him not producing and dropped him. Well, he had nine targets today. So Stills with Ryan Tanhill under center is starting to become a little bit more fantasy relevant. At tight end, Ian Thomas, um, 11 targets. Evan Ingram had five, but he had 77 yards. And I'm not sure what's going on with Odo Beckham Jr., but... Evan Ingram suddenly worth an add if someone out in your league dropped him. And then a couple of defenses, Seahawks playing the Niners next week, Bills playing the Lions next week. So those are our week 15 early waiver wire targets. Uh, very quickly as I try to watch this Rams-Bears game here, looks like it's going to be a fun one. How about them Cowboys? Crazy game. Um, you know how to get that in. And Amari Cooper. If you had him going this week, you got to be very, very happy, my friends. All right, that's it. Watch NFL Fantasy Live Monday through Friday, and uh, we will see you soon. Thanks, guys.